Hello guys, what is going on? Hester here, welcome! Today we're gonna take a look at a mage deck. I think that everybody has seen that deck before. It's gonna be a Skelly Pink deck. And um, I think this is a pretty refined list. And you can see that on the ladder already. There are a couple of people playing this. <laughs> uh, just like with the Implock. Uh, but this one is a little more aggressive. I think that the main idea uh, of this deck is that it's it should be played as an aggressive deck, as an aggro deck to be honest. Uh, with uh, Kel'Thuzad and uh, Mordresh being your finishers, uh, you know, for longer games, for some controlish matchups, you have the Hero, Magister, Downgrasp, uh, you have the Blizzard, Blizzard is pretty um, good right now, instead of playing the new one, the Deathborn card, we are playing Blizzard here, just to stop, for example, um, you know, some of our opponents like Shaman, uh, which can be problematic for this deck, uh, and even Implock. Some bigger, bigger minions uh, buffed with the library. Uh, it can be pretty, pretty good against that. So yeah. Uh, apart from that, nothing new, nothing special. We are playing uh, the sorceress as well. Uh, if you're missing some of the legendaries, you can try experimenting a little here. You can play Deathborn, for example, if you don't have maybe the hero, right? If you don't have maybe Varden, right? You can try uh, some other cards as well. But yeah, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna give you some additional tips when it comes to mulliganing and replacing some cards in the comments. So um, make sure to leave some comments if you have some questions about this deck. And let's jump to a couple of games to see uh, how the deck works, in fact. We'll see who's gonna be our opponent. Uh, I'm thinking that probably against some Warlocks. <laughs> uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I, I see a lot of Priests recently, you know. Uh, there are a lot of priests, the quest priests especially. Haven't seen hunters in a while. Oh. All right, Kel'thas is gonna be against Kel'thasad. The new, the new skin. The new skin is pretty Salama, sweet. I like it. Shelanore. Okay. Uh, do I need Sivara here? I mean, this is great. We got Frozen Touch as well. We got Flurry. I'm thinking that actually. Um, Getting a buff for the hero power is more important, so I'm gonna try to mulligan hard for this. Okay, we are not getting it, but we are getting uh, the Snow Flurry, which is nice. This is a nice aggro tool, as I mentioned. We are aggroing here. Oh, this might be a big mage, actually. This might be a big mage. I see people going back to big mage right now, especially after the Master Store. Oh man, this is gonna be... <laughs> The ladder is going to be full of, of um, big spell mages again. I can already feel that. I mean, we can keep this, right? Do I have to ping? Not that much. Let's keep this. Okay, what's he going to play for three mana then? Okay, the engineer. Makes sense. Is he drawing for... Nope. Nope. That's great. We're gonna go for that, gonna go face here. Yeah, so going face is gonna be problematic if we're facing a 40 HP opponent. A lot of people for the Masters also chose 40, 40 cards decks. Which is interesting, because at the beginning people were saying that this is inconsistent. Nowadays everybody is going for that. But anyways, there are gonna be some uh, other Decks for you guys, some other guys. Mm, I was actually recording Implog this weekend, and there's gonna be a Druid too. Let me know in the comments if you want some specific guides as well. Okay, he's going for the Wildfire. We don't have it, unfortunately. So he'll be able to answer our little guys. Which is sad. Okay, this is not a good hand. I'm gonna tell you that. Fortunately, we have something to deal some damage. But he's not even at 30 right now. Maybe we're gonna get something for 5 mana. We don't have any draws. I should have probably just kept uh, the hand that I had before, although we didn't have any early drops. At least here we got the Sanctum and the Snow Flurry, which is decent. <laughs> oh wow, he's going for the Mad Duke, and shit, he can get Kel'Thuzad here. Maybe he's not gonna get that. 
Let's hope. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh my goodness. This is not good. This is not really good, but we got the draw. The whales of these covers okay, wildfire. I'll take that. This is pretty okay. Let's freeze this. Well, we can stall him. <laughs> we can stall him until the very end of days, basically. And, you know, we got Theotar too. In our deck, at least, right? So we can get him and maybe get Kel'Thuzad back. There's a chance. There's still a chance for that. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, this is good. You know what? Let's go for that. Oh. Sweet. Isn't that sweet? It kinda is. We could go for the wildfire, to be honest, and uh, just ping this. And push more face. Okay, he's sitting at 28 now, which is good. And we're gonna go for the Dawn Grasp. What is he gonna replay, though? He's gonna replay, um... Okay. He's gonna replay the Wildfires. One Wildfire, right? And he's gonna replay the Draw as well. We could play some Frost Spell to get copied. Like Blizzard. Blizzard might be nice. Or we go for Dawn Grasp right away. Maybe we go for that right away and get the Draw. I think it makes sense. And we'll be pushing a little more damage there. The time has okay. Renathal. Coming down. Okay. Fire blasting this. Okay, we got the Dawn Grass, which is great. Especially with a hand like that. <laughs> this is gonna be some nasty removal. Uh, yeah, you let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gents. I have okay. an idea. Ooh. Ooh, that's great. That's pretty sweet. Let me freeze that. Push more damage. This is sitting at 5 right now. So yeah, this, this is going to deal some. This is going to deal some. It should be fine. Hopefully. We still have six to go. Mordrush is actually more important than, than Kel'Thuzad here in this deck. Because we don't play uh, the new six mana card. We are not spamming the board with uh, with Skellies. I would like an apprentice here. You wish to match with okay, he's, he's playing Dawn Grasp too. It's not good for us. It's gonna go I for the Alpine Intellect, burn some cards, Wildfire. Maybe he's got a Flurry that he's gonna play. If not, then he's gonna burn a card. Okay, he's burning a card. Hopefully this is gonna be something good. <laughs> uh, this is five, right? Let me think. Let me think here. Definitely gonna go for this. Definitely gonna go for this. I don't want to kill that. We can just freeze it. We have so much freeze that I think that we can just go face here with everything that we got. We're he's sitting on 18 now. We just freeze this and we stole more, right? I could even go for the famished uh, full, to be honest. But maybe that that is gonna be a little too greedy, I think. If he plays the apprentice, he's just gonna kill that and that's it. So yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. Oof. Okay, that's a nice burn. Yowza. That's a pretty nice burn. And we and we are one hero power left from from Mordrash. What else is there? It doesn't look like a big mage. What is going on in this guy's deck? What is going on here? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Alright. 
Hit face. Hit face. Come on, Skelly. That's nice. Good, Skelly. Good, Skelly. Okay, we are sitting at nine mana right now. Uh, I'm just going to go for the freeze, I guess. Yeah, let's go for the flurry here and for the draw, I think. And here, power the face. Ooh, this is not good. Alibi is, is spoiling our plan. This is spoiling our plan. Oh, there is this Doomsayer too. Holy. Holy guacamole. You know what? We could drop Cold Case here. Let's drop that. Let's put one damage here. It's fine. He's gonna get four more. He's almost dead. He's almost dead now. He's gonna be dead if he doesn't play like... Another alibi is dead. We're just gonna play more Dresh with the hero power next turn. Let's see what happens now. Okay, Frozen Touch. It's already good. It's already good for us. He's getting that back. It doesn't help that much. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Okay, it doesn't matter that much. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, we're just gonna keep going face, I think. Oh, we're seeing two, four, six, eight cards. We can play that and see what we get. Okay, not bad. There is the Theotar too. You know what? Let's go for that. Then. We need another Skelly, and we just need to ping him. We just need to ping him more. And have that. Have some units on the board so we can push more damage. That was nasty. And we have Theothar too. We could we could try getting Keltus at back. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want this right now. Okay, he's not playing him, right? So he's playing some other stuff. I've heard of it. The chance is not that big, though, for getting Kiltuzad back. It doesn't make any sense now. I think hero power and borders. This is 15 damage, man. He can clear one more unit. Okay. Here comes Bran. Here comes Bran. He's getting ready for some... Some nasty stuff. But this is it, guys. This is it. This is it. Not even hero powering. Yeah, so there we go, right? If you push more damage here, you can see that your opponent is not gonna keep up. Even with that armor, I mean, even with Alibi, he was stalling us hard too, right? But, yeah, we prevailed. We prevailed. All right, guys, let's move on. Let's take another one. Maybe we're going to play against Implock. Implock is a really tough matchup, I'm telling you guys. It should be a favorable matchup, but it's not. It's really not. Maybe there are going to be some druids, too. Let's see. Okay, we go against Hunter. Okay, Hunter, mm, we have a couple of options here. We need to consider every time you're playing against some deck, you need to consider what kind of matchup is this. This might be actually a face hunter. Wow, this is a pretty decent hand. You know what? I'm gonna keep this, I think. Maybe the Frozen Touch is not that good. We could uh, get like Wildfire or maybe. Uh, maybe the Flurry Guy. It's nice to have Sivara in hand, though. I don't know, man. Okay, let's keep this. Let's see if we can actually do something with that. Okay. I get it. Yeah, this is, this is getting cheaper now. Is he gonna buff this with the Biscuit? Yep. He is. He is what we can kill that. We can kill that. 
Do I kill that? We cannot coin anything. We can just ping it. What if he plays... No, we have to kill this, right? What if he plays another buff? We have to kill this, unfortunately. We are losing our spell, sure, but... It can get easily out of hand. This is not the time for, you know... Keeping your resources. Oh, wow. It's not the stag. This is surprising. <laughs> Usually it's like, you know... It's almost always the stag. Okay, what can we draw here? Can we get the wildfire? Okay, it's wildfire. This, this is good. This is decent. I think I'm gonna coin it, to be honest. I think I'm gonna coin it so we are ready for some board clear with uh, the apprentice. Next turn. It's gonna be four mana crystals. We're gonna remove the shield from this. Oh, he's buffing it. He's buffing it and clearing that, I think. Yeah. I do think so. Going face here. No, he's actually going face all the way. Wow. You know what we can do? We can go for the cold case. We can go for the cold case. Get some nice skellies. We need to stall. Oh man, Aralon's here. Oh. Boy, oh boy. Here comes the flurry. Okay, we can ping that. Let me think. Let me think here. Obviously, we are not going to go for the apprentice just yet. Hmm. I think we need to ping, right? Well, let's see what this is going to get us. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. We could freeze those too. Let's freeze this guy. Ping this. We are getting ready to kill it. But this doesn't look good. This is this is too much tempo, I think. This is definitely too much tempo, and especially that this is gonna kill the Skelly, I'm guessing. If we got lucky, the Skelly is gonna hit this, so he would have to attack face here with the 3-2. Three, Three cards left in his hand. That's quite a lot. Mordress is sitting at 8. Next turn, we can apprentice with the hero power. Okay, he's doing this. This is great. This is great. He's a good player. <laughs> what can I say? Oh wow, he's going for nets, but it's gonna be a single net. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Is he going for the collateral damage? I think so. Hmm. Okay, what are our options here? We can blizzard. We can ping. We can ping and kill this. We can Sivara and freeze. To maybe this is an idea. Maybe this is an okay idea. Yeah, we are getting coin too, right? We are getting coin as well. Coin might be useful. Is coin gonna be useful there? Might be. Curious. Might be. Mm. <laughs> short. Okay, let me kill that. Freeze two of them. Could have done it the other way around. Could have, like, used the coin, wildfire, kill that guy. That was another option for us. 
I'm just afraid that it's gonna be a double collateral damage. And he's just gonna kill us next next turn. Easily. But there is no workaround. <laughs> there is really no workaround. Okay, we can play Wildfire, Pink 3, kill this, freeze 1. Hmm. Curious. But collateral damage is gonna get stronger that way. Let's go for the Wildfire then. Hmm. We're not pushing any damage here. We're not pushing any damage here. Okay, let's go for the blizzard, I guess. Should have probably played the apprentice still. Should have probably played the apprentice. Okay, let's see what he plays. Let's see what he plays. The longer we play, the uh, the harder it's gonna be actually to win. Way harder. Because we cannot push that much damage. Yeah, it's just gonna wait. He's just gonna wait. I can't take a There's no way we can stop him. Right now, he's dealing... A lot. Yeah, this is definitely collateral damage. 100%. The whales of these covers chill me. Just 100%. Well, we tried, we tried, but he faced us down. Obviously, Face Hunter is going to be a better aggro deck than uh, the mage. Oh, wow. Oof. Okay, so no collateral damage, actually. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Or maybe he had it, but he just played something else. So yeah, as you see, uh, against aggro, it depends, right? Hunter is something else, basically. I think we can play another one. Just to see how that works. And, uh, yeah. I think that we could maybe get some better draws at the beginning, or maybe I I should have played the Apprentice quicker and then go for Mordresh. We, we just maybe weren't uh, aggressive enough. Okay, there is a Priest now. There is a Priest. Priest is gonna be pretty slow if he's not the Miracle Priest. I think I'm gonna keep the full with the draws. Let's keep the full. Okay, we got some early drops. Unfortunately, we have no spells to reduce the cost of. Let's see, maybe now we're gonna get a spell. Nope. So we cannot really play this. I mean, we can play this for tempo, but... That sucks. I think I'm just gonna skip. I mean, coining the snow flurry doesn't make any sense. It's better to keep that, you know, for the for the next turn always, almost always. When the the board is, is empty, you just want to see what your opponent plays. Okay. Oh wow! Is that a thief? Priest. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot of death rattles, a lot of stealing shit from us. Okay. I mean, we could, we could make this cheaper now. <laughs> let's try. And let's draw. Right on. Okay, that's decent. I'm gonna keep the ping. I'm gonna keep the ping for later. 
Oh wow, okay. So that was the thing that he has stolen from our deck. There is also something from hand. We can just try pushing more damage here. Let's freeze another guy. We're gonna be at five mana. All right, some nasty exchange. There is the cold case that we want to copy with Sivara. And yeah, that's basically it. We're just gonna play this. I don't wanna play coin now. I don't want another coin from Sivara, right? Okay, so this is something that he has stolen from from our hand, which is okay. He will freeze one. We could go for draws. Let's freeze that guy. Kill that. So that's a nasty, nasty exchange. He could heal that. I think I don't want this. Let's kill it. And I guess, I guess we have to coin. Do we have to coin? Maybe we don't. Do I have to coin full? That would be a nice play, to be honest. If I want to play on curve, this is probably a good one. We are also making Theotar a little um, worse for him if he wants to play it. Because his discovery pool is going to be bigger. So maybe that's the play still. Okay, I think, I think we are ready to play... Uh, the hero. We could also replay. We could, yeah, we could go for Wildfire. Go for Svar later on. Mm, so many options. I really don't want him to play Theotar and steal, for example, the Dawn Grass because hmm. I want to play him Ace up. Let's play him, I guess. There we go. Okay. Alright. We're gonna burn one card, though. Not a good card, though. All right, another exchange. <laughs> He's sitting at 26 now, which is, that's not bad. That's not bad. We could go for a Keltazad. We could actually go for a Keltazad now. All right, it's only, uh, this is only one of our win cons, let's say, and, and not necessarily the main win con, right? As I mentioned, Mordrish is the main win con. Come on, my friend. What are you thinking about there? Yeah, I think dropping Kelthus out here it makes sense. I just need to make use of all the uh, the legendaries as fast as possible. We could also like go for Sir Finley and hide our legendaries from him, <laughs> from Theotar. Okay. Is he just roping us on purpose? Did he leave? Oh man, that was the best card out of those. Okay, let's drop Four. Kelly. Four. Let's drop Kel. Did he really leave? Or was that a, a BM rope? He probably left. 
But what are the options for him? He could silence this right now. Play Whirlpool, right? That would be one option for him, for example. I think that he left. Oh, okay, nope. That's great. I was thinking, oh shit, I will have to play another game. <laughs> and this video is going to be too long. And he's there. He's there, is, is he, he's getting some damage to the face. Oh, he's playing Theodore now. Great, thank god. He might steal Mordrush, though. Is he stealing Mordrush? No way, man. If he discovers Mordrush out of those cards... Holy shit, man. Are you for real? This is just crazy. This is just crazy. I mean, we can steal it back. But what are the odds? What are the freaking odds? Okay. Seven cards. Can we hit Mordrish? Can we actually hit Mordrish? that I'm gonna play this here uh, I don't have any spells to lower the damage to, to lower the cost of uh, we can try hitting this let's try guys let's go for this come on man Oh my goodness, thank god. Whew. We got him back. He's back, friends. He's gonna be back in action. He's sitting at 5 lead, though. So we have to play a lot. A lot of hero power. And there's no apprentice. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're gonna burn another card, but we're gonna burn some some commons or rares. <laughs> no big deal, hopefully. So, okay, he's discovering a card here. Uh, is anything in our hand actually gonna help him? Not so much, right? Not so much. Only the, maybe only Varden. Varden might be might be actually bad for us, because we'll not be able to push more damage. Okay. He's gonna freeze uh, Kel'Thuzad, I'm guessing. Another one, yep. Oh, this is gonna deal six. And he's like, almost dead. Almost. There's also healing. Oh, shit. This doesn't help. This doesn't help us. No biggie, no biggie. Okay, let me think. Let me think here. We can deal three. I really want to go to the face here, or just or just play the apprentice. We can go all face. Um play the apprentice now? Yeah, let's play the apprentice now. This is gonna hit some some skellies. Skellies are gonna deal damage there. Well, I was hoping for more though. I was hoping for a little more. Uh, we are not gonna get we are not gonna get the spell to kill him though. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. So yeah, but that was a really weird priest, to be honest. I, I was mainly facing some quest priests, or... I don't know. What else did I see? The Miracle Priest as well, the ones that I was recording um, videos for. But yeah, 
Um, I think you can get the idea here with the mage. It's pretty, it's pretty stable actually, and it's it's really enjoyable, I guess. Um, this is one of the most enjoyable decks for now in this meta, I think. I mean, I like I like the meta at all. I mean, in general, it's really good. But I think this is one of my favorites for now. So if you're thinking about crafting something, I mean, it's pretty expensive. It has a lot of uh, legendaries, as I was showing you. But uh, I don't know. I like it. I like it, and I would recommend um, you guys to craft it if you like mage. If you like this style of stalling or aggroing, it, it feels like a mid-range deck with a possibility to become late game too with the Dawn Grasp. It can kill your opponent pretty quickly too, if you manage to get like Cold Case, Frozen Touch as well, Snow Flurry, right? And then finish off with Mordrash before your opponent is Theotowering it. So yeah, this is a pretty good deck. So uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be it for this one. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm cooking more guides for you with uh, the best of the best decks in the current meta. So I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot and have a great day.